All right, guys, so I've already moved the board down now. What we're looking at, because we're putting an XM Plus, is, is we're going to be doing the um, the pads for the... Uh, we're going to be using these pads right here. I've pointed out before. It's going to be the ground, the 5-volt, and the S-Bus. So I'm going to save... I'm using some of that extra wire. I think that's going to be long enough for what we need. So let me just... I'm going to open this XM Plus. Okay. Hey, Sam. Did this customer, oh, you know what, Never, it doesn't matter, I've got it already set. So here's our XM Plus right here, okay? And this is gonna, on the XM Plus, let me just kind of show you here. The XM Plus's pad layout, right, is ground, five volt, and then, um, uh, and then your signal port, okay, your S-Bus. So um, we're gonna put the wires there and prep that as well. And I can, I was gonna try to do that on here, but there's not much room left for me to do that, so. Let me uh, let me see if I can maneuver this some way without getting in the way of the rest of the stuff. So let me see. And if not, maybe it won't happen, but let's just see if we can. So I'm gonna try to tape this as close as I can to the board so that I can get it on camera, if it'll stay. Not sure, but all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and tin that up. Let's see if that stays. It may, it may not. This tape doesn't stick very good, it's silicone, but we'll see. Okay, so now we're gonna get our solder and remember the order here is ground so let's just tin that with ground and then we have 5 volt and then we have our s bus our port there okay all right so we've got our, our ports ready i'm going to use the wire that was left over from what did we cut i think the vtx the excess vtx wiring so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to take out uh, I'm going, here's the wiring right here. So I'm going to remove some of it and just get it ready to solder. So give me a second. And I'll tin that up. Okay, so let me show you how that's going to go. So here's what I've cut now. Okay, and now I'm just going to tin them up real quick. So let me spin these and tin them. Not really sure that you're gonna need to see that, so let me just leave the camera where it is so that you can see what we're doing with those wires. Let me get my helping hands here. Okay. So I'm gonna tin the ground first, but we're gonna start, because of the way this is laid out, we're gonna start with our S-Bus wire because it's the farthest and we don't wanna cross over. So we're gonna go from outside in and I'm getting that wire tinned right now, so if you give me just a second, I'll bring that in. Let me just do my five volt wire real quickly, and we will be ready to go. Okay, here's the five volt wire. All right, so now starting with the uh, S-Bus wire, which is right here. This could be a little tricky because I'm having to come over the uh, fly control. I'll come in at an angle, I guess. Let's see if I can do this. Oh. Well, you know what? Let me just take this off. Move it out of the way for right now. We can easily flip that back over. All right, so let's get our S-Bus cable right here. Okay. And then let's get our 5-volt cable. I think this might be a little long, but I'm going to see. Oh, that'll be okay. And then let's get our ground. Perfect. Okay. We've got those ready to go. We can take that off. We can bring our flight controller back. Now, all I need to do is, is tin the other ends of those wires real quickly. Let me do that. It'll take just a second. Okay, there's the 5 volt, there's the S bus, one more will be the ground, there it is, alright, I'm going to tin these real quick off camera, because I don't have any room to really show you that, so let me do that and spin these up, and then I'll tin them, and then I'll bring them back in on camera so you can see them getting soldered, and then that'll pretty much be it for the soldering of this build, so let me just tin these, one second. Make sure to tin yours, make sure to spin those strands up well. Okay, 
so that they're nice and tight and they're not you don't have strands going all over the place that could accidentally short out your board there's two there's three all right we're ready to bring these in here's what they look like okay so I'm gonna start from the outside in so the outside is the ground so let me go ahead and take the ground and bring it in like this and my signal wires get in there too let me get that out of the way here's my ground so we'll put that right here there's one okay now the next one is my five volt so I'm gonna bring that in there's my five volt right there okay and then my S bus is right here there we go okay there's my three wires now that are ready to go so we are now done and I can take this off and show you guys on the table what this looks like okay so here we go so there we have it guys we have our camera wire we have our VTX wire and we have our receiver now the only thing with the receiver is I need to heat shrink uh, I need to put heat shrink on it so let me get some cut real quick get that taken care of don't know where my scissors are Aha. let's do that and let's cut about that much and we'll just come in over this area here just like that put that on here and we will heat this up and treat this real quickly okay Perfect. And that's it. So the only things left to do here are going to be the motors. Okay. So we've got everything else done. It's all the stuff done that we needed to do. And now we can take this time, take a moment to clean off our table. And where is my cool cloth here? Clean it up. Make sure you get all the loose metal strands and anything else that may be on your table. Get it out of the way. It's my magnet. It keeps trying to get in my build for some reason. Put that over here. Clean up table okay and that's it and there's our build there's our board right there so really like I said the only thing left is going to be to do our motors so we're going to get started on that on the next set we'll be right back